In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert a mathematical expression from interval notation to set builder notation. So let's start with A. Graph the interval on a number line and express it in set builder notation. So here's the number line. Here's negative 2. This is 3. Now we have brackets. So what that means is we're going to have a closed circle at negative 2 and 3. And x is going to be between these two values. So x is less than or equal to 3. It includes 3. But it's also greater than or equal to negative 2. And this is how we can put it in set builder notation. So this is the answer on a number line, and this is the answer in set builder notation. So that's it for part A. Now let's move on to part B. So it's between negative 3 and 5. Now we have a parenthesis at negative 3, so I'm going to put an open circle there because it does not include negative 3, but we have a bracket at 5, so we need a closed circle at 5. You could also do it this way too. Sometimes you'll see a bracket here and a parenthesis or parenthesis right there as well. So you can do it like this. Or some textbooks may graph it this way. A parenthesis at negative 3 and a bracket at 5. Basically exactly what you see here. So you can graph it on a number line any one of those two ways. Now x is less than or equal to 5. It includes 5. It does not include negative 3, so it's simply greater than but not equal to negative 3. And that's how we can put it in set builder notation. So this is the answer in set builder notation. Now, let's move on to part C. By the way, if you want to pause the video and try part C, have a go for it. So let's start with the number line. We're going to start at 2, and this is going to go to positive infinity, which is all the way to the right. Negative infinity is all the way to the left. Now we have a bracket at 2, so I'm going to put a closed circle. And it goes to infinity, so there's no stopping point. So we're just going to have an arrow here. So we could simply write that x is equal to or greater than 2. It's to the right of 2. And so that's all we need to write to express this interval in set build notation. Therefore, this is the answer right here. Well, and this too. So that's how we can graph it on a number line, and that's how we can put it in set builder notation. Let's work on some more examples. Try this one. Let's say we have the interval negative infinity to negative 4 within a set of parentheses. Go ahead and graph it on a number line and express that interval in set builder notation. So we have negative infinity to the left. And we're going to stop at negative 4. Now we have an open circle at negative 4. And so we're going to shade towards negative infinity. Thus, we could say that x is less than but 
not equal to negative 4. And that's how we can express it in set build notation. So this is the final answer here. As you can see, it's not that difficult to convert an expression from interval notation to set build notation. With a little practice, you can definitely do it. Now let's try a harder example. So let's say we have the interval from negative 2 to 1, and then union This is going to start from 3 and go to infinity. So this time we have two intervals. Go ahead and graph it on a number line and then express it in set build notation. So let's create a bigger interval. We have negative infinity on the left, positive infinity on the right. We have the numbers negative 2. 1 and 3 in increasing order. Now, starting from the left and moving to the right, we have a closed circle at negative 2 and an open circle at 1. So x is going to be between those two values. Then we're going to pick up at 3, going from left to right. So we have an open circle at 3, and we're going to go towards infinity. So let's start with the first interval. x is less than 1, but doesn't include 1, but it's greater than or equal to negative 2. So it's between negative 2 and 1. Or, let's look at the other uh, interval. x is greater than but not equal to 3. So now let's write it in set build notation. So this is the first part of our answer. This is the answer on a number line. And this is our answer expressed in set build notation. Now, for the sake of practice, let's go ahead and work on a similar problem. So this is going to be part F. So we're going to start from negative infinity, and we're going to go to negative 5. We're going to close this with a bracket, connect it with another interval. We're going to start back up at negative 2, and we're going to end at 4. So go ahead and try this example problem. Graph it on a number line, and then express the mathematical expression in set build notation. So we have negative infinity on the left, positive infinity on the right. Going from left to right, the first number is negative 5, the next one is negative 2, and the next important number is 4. So let's start with this. So we have a closed circle at negative 5, and it goes towards negative infinity. So it's between negative infinity and negative 5. Then we pick up again at negative 2 with an open circle, and we have an open circle at 4. So that's how we can graph it on a number line. Now, let's focus on writing it in set build notation. So for the first interval, we can say that x is less than or equal to negative 5. It includes negative 5. Now, let's connect it with the second interval using an or statement. Now, x is less than 4. It doesn't include 4, but it's just less than 4. But it's greater than negative 2. 
It doesn't include negative 2 since we have an open circle. And now let's complete up answer by putting it in set build notation. And that's basically it. So now you know how to convert a mathematical expression from interval notation to set builder notation.